Well, hi guys. Um, yesterday it rained and I got a chance to catch up with Mr. Bruce Goodwin. Uh, he's a Pioneer Seed dealer in Pleasant Plain, Ohio. And he's one of the few guys I trust to tell me the truth. Uh, he's very knowledgeable. Uh, he's kind of the guy, if you got a crop problem, to ask. Okay, when, back in August, when these, these, this vil, uh, video was taken, I showed that these beans were turning yellow, and had absolutely no clue why. Now, as you can see, that's a yellow streak and a half, and over here they're tall, and it drops down and it goes back up in height. Um, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. And everything in my head, you know, telling me it's herbicide, um, it could be fertilizer. And I know a lot of you guys have, have commented a lot of different theories on what caused this. Um, I showed Bruce these videos and photos I have, and uh, it wasn't until I showed him this image. Come on, focus in. There you go. Um, where they had greened back up. And he said he know, knew what it was, what the cause was, and what it is. Um, and it's something I had never heard of before. And I'm always amazed because you just, you know, there's so many new things going on. And you have to find somebody that knows what's going on and knows what they're talking about. But it is C S C N soybean cyst nematodes. Uh, as you can see, this is a soybean root. These are the nodules that you would normally see. But these small little dots here are the C S C N. It's a microscopic worm, parasitic worm, that thrives on soybean plants. Now what it does, um, the, this microbe lives in the soil. There's no difference, you can't kill it. Uh, it makes no difference if you're no-till or you work ground. It doesn't make any difference. It's in the soil. It attaches, it gets into the root system of the plant and lives off the nutrients that the plant absorbs to grow. That's why the soybeans turn yellow because they're not getting the nutrients the plant needs. The parasites are taking it. Uh, but, as he explained to me, and I've read here what happens in the life cycle of the bean or the nematodes is that they have reached the end of their life cycle. These sacs are their eggs, these little nodules here. There's two to four hundred eggs inside each of those nodules, ready to hatch next spring when it gets above. 57 degrees in the soil. So these soybeans were planted late. They're replants. So as they die off, the nematodes, the plant can get the nutrients back to the upper part of the plant through the root system, causing it to green back up. That sounds crazy, but 
from what he told me and what I've read, it makes perfect sense. But this is a problem that we're all, and I mean all soybean farmers across the country, are going to be dealing with now or dealing with in the future. Uh, you know, it's, it's not my, just my little area. It's across the country. Uh, according to the data that I've read, that uh, you, know, you can see it a, a 15 to 30 percent yield loss in fields with it. So, you know, it's costing us a lot of money. But back in the 50s is when this started showing up. Uh, it showed up in the southeastern corner of Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Arkansas. By 1973, it had spread. Well, it was over in one county in South Carolina, too, back in the 50s. But 73, it had grown. By the 80s, it had gotten, you know, farther and farther. The 90s, 2001, now 2017, you know. This is something that we're all going to deal with. You can't kill the nematodes. There's nothing you can do, nothing you can put on. Uh, the only way you can get rid of them is to starve them to death. And that's by planting corn, uh, uh, wheat, rye, canola, anything that is not a bean. But... You, you know, it takes a long time to get their numbers down. Uh, so it's something that we're all going to have to deal with, whether we like it or not. And it's something I had never heard of before. And of course, it, it is the soybean cyst nematodes. And that's what I've got in my beans. So I've got to do some change next year on what I'm going to do and what I'm going to do in the future. Um, it's, you know, easily transported. can be transported through the wind, birds, human beings. Uh, anything that makes contact with soil in one field, it can be moved to another field. Uh, you know, the wind blows, it can move it. So, it's something we're all going to be dealing with. But that's what it ended up being, is, um, you know, the soybean cyst nematodes causing this problem that turned yellow beans back green. <laughs> so, that's it in a nutshell, guys. A uh, lot to learn. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. We'll see you next time, guys.